Okay, so I've done videos in the past kind of talking about the monthly expenses in Thailand, but right in front of me on this paper, I've, I've written down all of my personal monthly expenses. So I'm going to share them with you so you guys can have an exact idea of how much I personally spend a month living in Pattaya, Thailand. So let's go ahead and jump into expense number one, which is the largest on the list, and that is rent. How much do I pay for rent here in Pattaya, Thailand? Well, I have a one bedroom condo. I don't know the exact square footage, but I'll share some B-roll footage so you guys can see what it looks like right now if you haven't seen my past video. And for this apartment, I pay 8,500 baht a month, which converts to 243 US dollars. And my apartment includes a pretty nice pool that is the whole middle section of the building, as well as a gym. And obviously in my apartment I also have a washing machine so I don't have to go to the laundry mat to wash my clothes which is pretty convenient. So $243 for one bedroom apartment is not bad at all. I've mentioned in past videos that rent ranges anywhere from 7,000 baht one up to whatever else you want to pay. Once you get into the real luxury apartments you're looking at uh, 15, 20, 25, 30,000 30, baht or more per month. But you can find a nice comfortable apartment for literally for literally around what I'm paying and I actually I love my and to note I do have a one year lease on this condo so with that out the way the next thing that comes with the apartment is going to be utility and water costs and so far for utility and water costs I estimate anywhere between 70 to 100 dollars per month that might be more than other people's um, electric costs but that is because I run my AC pretty often so that leads to a little bit of a higher bill and water doesn't cost much money at all maybe like 10 fifteen dollars max per month next even though my condo has a gym membership the gym is obviously not fully equipped with everything I need so I have a gym membership at a gym that is right that is in walking distance to me called bear gym and there I pay about fifty dollars per month which allows me to get a full and complete workout in whatever I want to the next expense is going to be food and for food I pay anywhere from 250 to three hundred dollars per month Sometimes I cook, but most of the time I'm ordering uh, from Grab some fried rice or pad thai or a noodle dish. And on average, those meals cost me anywhere from 60 to 100 baht. So if you calculate that, it's about $3 a day. And then sometimes I eat the night market, that's another 100 baht. So let's just say I spend about $6 a day on food. Sometimes more depending on the day, but overall my daily budget is not too much. I eat normally about tw twice a day in the morning. My breakfast is usually some egg whites and a smoothie or a smoothie bowl. And fruit, if you get it from a local market, doesn't cost you much money at all. So some months my budget may go above $300, but on average I can definitely eat every day for $300 per month. And that's not with me. And I'm not starving, of course. Next up, we have transportation costs. So I don't rent a bike, but I think I might get into renting a bike soon. If I rent a bike, it would cost about $100 per month to rent one. And when I take Grab, I want to say Grab or Bolt daily. I want to say I probably spend around the same amount of money per month based on the trip that I take uh, when it comes to transportation using um, the, those services. So not too bad, still a lot less than what you would pay to transport um, in America because you have to own a car in most places. And then even if you're taking public transportation in the U.S., you're probably still having to pay more than $100 per month. Next, we're at a monthly phone service um, for, to have a tie number. And that can range anywhere from 10 on dollars on up to 50, depending on how good of a plan you have. Um, I currently have a like unlimited 5G plan, but I don't really need it because my phone doesn't even get 5G, so I'm kind of overpaying. So I put down for this phone plan actually $15 because that's what I'll be spending here on out for my monthly phone plan, and that's going to give me uh, unlimited 4G data, which is all I need. Next up is safety wing insurance. As someone living abroad, it's important to still have some form of insurance. Emergencies do happen. Um, you can get sick. And unlike in America to where if you don't have insurance, you're still going to get treated and like you're going to be able to leave the hospital. It's not the same here in Thailand, especially for foreigners. If you go to the hospital with no insurance, like you're going to have to. I recommend you check out safety wing. My price will uh, differ depending on your age and your health conditions. But if you're around my age and health, then you should be paying about $45 per month as I am. Now, another big expense I have, which is not like super large, but I'm also still paying my American phone bill. And with that comes also overseas charges at $10 a day. Now, I was gonna leave this expense out because in reality, if I wanted to, I could eliminate it or at least cut it by 50%. But I'm so used to paying it now and I like having my American number and still using it. 
So I pay $150 a month to keep my American phone service plus the overseas fees. So it that's definitely pricey for a phone bill, but I'm saving so much money on the other end of things that, you know, paying $150 for my phone isn't the end of the world. But like I said, if I do choose to, I may end up cutting it and just running my phone off of the Wi-Fi uh, hotspot of my other phone. So that's kind of it for my main expenses. Obviously, you might throw in some date nights in between, um, which might be an additional 2000 baht or something a month or $100 a month. Um, but obviously, that doesn't happen all the time. So I'm just going to go off of set expenses. So just to recap, we have rent, gym, food, transportation, utilities, phone bill, my American phone bill, and insurance. And total, that brings us to about $1,050 variable. And the reason why I say variable, it could go up and down. Um, so anywhere from like 900 to 1100 dollars per month is my monthly expenses once again as i mentioned sometimes i sometimes i do go above that on other splurges maybe shopping here and there but just as set expenses go i just want to share this with, share this with you guys so you guys can see that you do not need to be making a whole whole lot of money to live abroad it actually does not cost that much you can watch any video there are going to be people who have way higher expenses than mine but this is just my expenses as a young single male. I don't have any kids, like I'm not married, so so it doesn't cost me much to enjoy life out here. And also like I don't drink as much as I used to. This year going into 2024, I plan to live a lot healthier of a lifestyle. So I plan to cut out most of my drinking. I'll still drink some, but like I won't drink nearly as much as I did this past year. And my, like I said, going to the gym and just eating healthier is my main focus because that's obviously top priority for anyone over money or anything else is that you have to have, take care of your health so that's going to be one of my big things for one of my big goals and objectives is to just live a very healthy lifestyle come this upcoming year i'll also mention there might be a couple of things that slipped my mind when i was writing down this list but overall this is going to be an accurate projection of what i spend per month anyway if you have any questions don't forget to leave a comment like the video share it and if there's any other questions you guys want answered about me living in thailand then let me know um, send me an email or once again you can leave a comment and i will try to create content around the things that you guys actually want to know about anyway i'll see you guys in the next video peace out